Alrighty folks, so we're doing some fishing here today. I'm fishing this shoreline, fishing these two points right here. I've caught a lot of uh, little crappies and bluegill throughout the week here, so we'll see what happens today. Alright, so the rod and reel combo I'm using today is just a uh, Shakespeare, I think it's called Lady First. It's, it was one of those when they did the uh, breast cancer awareness, the Shakespeare made a model of these. I just picked one up. It's quite a few years old. Um, just got a cheap uh, rod from Walmart. It's a shake of Shakespeare Durango. Too special. One thing I really like about this for light, for uh, pan fish, it's got an ultralight um, action and also the reel is pretty good. It's got, right as of right now, I've got a uh, four pound crappie. Uh, it's got Mr. Crappie line on it. And this stuff works pretty good for small pan fish. I think the line kind of disappears when it goes in the water. Today I'm just using a uh, look-alike minnow, if I get it to hold still here, with uh, some crappie candy. Um, this crappie candy is pretty good stuff. I found it works really well for uh, crappies and even smaller panfish like sunfish or bluegill. So if you ever at Walmart, you can pick this stuff up. It's actually technically called crappie nibbles. It's made by Berkeley Power Bait. It's pretty good stuff. Hey, there's finally one. You know how long it's been since I freaking caught a fish today? Holy cow, it's a little striper bass. Uh, they must have just recently stocked them in this lake because they never used to be in here. They're a bunch of tiny ones like that. So that must be what the deal is with those. See what we got this time. Hey, that's actually a crappie this time. I'm really surprised. So what I did is I moved down a little bit. I was fishing over there by those off them two points. I came down here because it's a little deeper. And it's also not quite as much brush. There's a bunch of brush around them points. That's usually why it's pretty good over there. But I don't know for some reason it looks like they might be stacked along here where it's a little bit deeper water. A little nice black crappie. Not real big in this lake, but once in a while you get they sure are pretty though i don't know if you guys can see this or not but uh fish took the tail off of this look-alike minnow so i'm gonna have to get me another one to uh tie it. another one of those look-alike minnows on this time I'm going with something a little bit more lighter colored this uh water is like chocolate pudding so hopefully this will be a little bit more easier to see maybe for the fish to be able to strike it we'll see what happens another little crappie Alrighty folks, I did some fishing tonight at uh, Lake Fisher in Bloomfield, Iowa. Caught a lot of little ones. Uh, the ones that I recorded, like I said, that was hard to do today. I, I don't know if I would have been able to catch them without the bait I was using. It was pretty difficult. I've been, I spent about six hours down here. I decided to quit because it was getting dark out. <clears throat> I thought, boy, I don't need to be fishing in the dark any later. I need to. So I decided to, like I said, just pack up and call it a day. Um, a little bit different of a video compared to what I usually do. I really enjoy fishing. I'm going to try to see how this ends up as a video. I don't know how good it will be, but I'll post it anyway. Alrighty, thank you guys for watching. Uh, like I said, use, try out that uh, fake minnows, any type. I like the Mimic memo. That's what I was using. I don't even know if they're still around. It's an older bait. Um, crappie candy it's, works great. Um, like I said, I don't think I would have been able to catch as many as I did without using that bait. But anyway, I'll catch you in the next one.